where we are. Uh, we can this, get rid of that, kill that. That kind of freaks me out. We don't need her. Uh, we can get rid of that. That's done. Okay, we can start with this. I know it's a hard-hitting piece, but come on, you guys. It's the internet. We need traffic, traffic, traffic. What do you got? How about this? Perfect. Now, doesn't she look smart and knowledgeable about immigration reform? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she does, right? I'm fucking with you people. This isn't a porn site. What are we nerds trying to look at boobies? Come on, keep looking. Shit. Hello? Hey, baby, where are you? Are you still at work? No, not even close. Just so you know, the movie starts in 10 minutes. I know. Give me your pants. What? I'll buy you lunch tomorrow. Come on. No. I'm your boss. Give me your pants. Please try not to be late. I really hate missing the beginning. I know, I know. <laughs> Give me your pants. I'm coming, baby. I'm almost there. How far away? I think I see you. Where are you? I'm here. So am I. So many people. What are you wearing? I'm wearing the only clothes outside the theater. Because I'm the only person outside the theater. I love that outfit. You look so sexy in that. You know that I love this movie. It's a prostitute and a ruthless businessman who fall in love than anyone can. I know this means a lot to you, which means it means a lot to me. Well, apparently it doesn't. I'm looking at you right now, I can see you. Jamie. Hey. Hey. Oh, you need it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, sorry I'm late. It's okay, I got a sandwiches. Got you, turkey, no cheese, gluten-free bread. You sure this was prepared in a nut-free facility? Yes, I'm fully aware of your allergies. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm really sorry. We missed your body as a wonderland. Okay, only one song. That's not so bad, right? Who's fucking your body as a wonderland? Well, the good news is he has so many good ones. Here's an idea. Next time, instead of being late, just shit on my face. Because that's kind of the same thing as missing your body as a wonderland. Okay, come on. We really got to go in. Julie Roberts is about to put on her really tall boots. Um, we need to talk. I think we should take a break. I just feel like we should chill for a while, you know? You're doing this. You're breaking up with me? You said I was your soulmate. I did? When? When we were at that bed and breakfast having sex. But, you know, that doesn't... That doesn't what? Count. I was tied up at work. I'm sorry. Maybe you should care a little bit less about work and a little more about the girl that you're dating. Because last time I checked, work doesn't reassure you that liking a finger up your ass doesn't make you gay. I never said go up, okay? I just said lightly around. It's like a like a little button. You know what? Not your issue anymore. Is this why you were late? You were worried about how to break up with me? Oh, no, no. I was trying to decide what to wear. So you went with sneakers and a hoodie? Yeah. What are you going to take the SATs after this? Don't lash out, okay? You're better than that. I'm really not. I just think we're heading in different directions. Yeah, you to the John Mayer concert and me not. Thank you for doing this before the concert, by the way. Best breakup. He is the Cheryl Crow of our generation. Let me just ask you a quick question and just know that I am not at all crushed by this breakup. So be honest. What? Wait, is this a trick? No, just pure anthropological research. Okay. You want someone to sweep you off your feet, but you're more interested in getting swept off your feet than the someone who's doing the sweeping. You seem like you've got it totally together, but you're actually really emotionally damaged. Also, you have, like, really big eyes, and that freaks me out sometimes. Thank you. It's enough. It is not you at all. Of course it's me. You can't say that. You're breaking up with me. It's not. It's me. I don't like you anymore. This is my fault. You deserve better than me. You're a great guy. A little too emotionally unavailable, if you ask me. I didn't. I really want to stay friends. Let's stay friends. Sure. Totally. Jack, look at me! Come here, you. You're gonna get through this. Why do relationships always start off so fun and then turn into suck a bag of dicks? You really have to stop buying into this bullshit Hollywood cliche of true love. Shut up, Catherine Heigl, you stupid liar! I'm just gonna work and fuck, like George Clooney. I'm just gonna shut myself down emotionally, like George Clooney. I don't believe in the power of love. Seat up, please, sir. Is that the Hudson River? Uh, no, it's the East River. Oh, so we won't be landing on it then, like that, uh, 